Hello, hello everybody, it's Girl Got Game, and welcome back to Taisho Alice Heads and Tails. We got a new boy's route to do today, Wolf, which I'm very excited about because I love Wolf a lot. I'm hoping his story doesn't change my mind on that. I would be shocked if it did, but <laughs> I'm a little scared <laughs> considering how the last route went, but I'm still excited. I want to see things from his perspective. I'm hoping for lots of good Alistair Wolf shenanigans. And I hope this boy has some kind of a happy ending for himself because he deserves it. So let's jump in and see what we're getting into. Ooh. Aww. <laughs> and of course we get little Wolf. He's so cute. Such a precious BB. Hey, Grandma? Hmm? What is it, Yuki? Are wolves always the bad guys? In fairy tales, they're always lying or eating people. I hate that my last name means wolf. I wish I had yours instead. Hmm. Well, I like Okami, and I like wolves. How come? They're evil. Maybe there's a good one out there. They're liars! Maybe some lies are good. Some lies are good? Yes. You might be too young to understand right now, but in this world, honesty isn't always a good thing. If the truth would hurt someone, then you may find you need to lie to protect them. Grandma, I don't know if I approve of this lesson. <laughs> I, I don't know about this. Uh, uh, I'm kind of worried about this tone we're setting so far. But lying is... Lying! Indeed it is. It might even hurt you to say it. But if you ask your old granny, a lie that protects a friend is an admirable lie. I've, I just, <laughs> I don't feel good about this. Knowing like where things end up main story wise, I'm just like, oh, I'm scared. I don't get it. But if you think wolves are cool, then maybe I can like them too. Wolves are big and brave. Ow! Look at this beautiful boy without his glasses. The shrill bell dragged me back to reality. Hello? Oh, oh. I haven't dreamed like that in a while. I love, I love this. I just, I don't know. Wolf without his glasses does things <laughs> to me. I was like, hmm. Handsome devil. Ah, uh, but your the glasses are just so quirky. It suits him. <laughs> I hummed to myself as I walked down the familiar streets in the boulevard of broken dreams. When I opened the classroom door, my friends were already at their desks. Morning, fellas! Morning! I greeted one and the other two walked over. Yo, yo, did you hear the news? Our school's getting a transfer student! This late? That's kind of awkward. The semester already started a long time ago. The paperwork only just processed, apparently. They had to fax it from a different country. Holy crap! So the transfer student grew up overseas? Is it a girl? Is she hot? Oh, now Okami's interested. The wolf's out on the prowl! So, girl or guy? Girl, or so I heard. Hell yeah! A little early to celebrate, don't you think? We don't even know if she's cute. All girls are cute. All girls are queens! 
A worldly girl transferring back to Japan partway through the semester. She's gotta be a babe! Life's not that simple, I'm telling you. No, really! I feel it! My destiny is calling me! Ugh. Cringe. Oh, come on! Take your seats, everyone. Wow, so we're just gonna start straight into the first day Yurika shows up. Alright. As the first period bell rang, the teacher walked in and we all hurried to our desks. I was sure the topic of the transfer student would come up during homeroom, but it didn't. Suspicious. Ugh, club activities. This sucks. I'm so beat. No club for me! See ya! See ya. After the final bell rang, I was the first one out of the classroom. <laughs> Later, losers. Alright, here we go! Today, I'm gonna search this whole section! I pulled out my cell phone and launched the GPS app. With this trusty tool at my disposal, even a transplant like me could easily find his way around. Hi, excuse me! I have a question, if that's cool. What is it? Do you know a white guy- Oh, sorry, hold on a second. My screen decided to go completely black. It does that randomly, and then now it's back. I don't know why it does that, but it picks inopportune moments to do so. Anyway, a white guy my age? <laughs> yeah? Do you know a white guy my age who lives around here, maybe? He's got blonde hair, blue eyes. Oh, but he's like a native speaker? I see foreigners around all the time, but I haven't heard about one actually living here. Gotcha. Well, thanks anyways. Huh. <sighs> no luck. I wonder how long he was looking for... Red. I thought for sure I'd find him the second I moved back. Ooh. This is your house? It's nice. That night I went home to a little cottage near the lake. I'm home! Not that anyone's here anymore. So this is the cottage that you were with Grandma. Makes sense, because the one we saw in, you know, Dream World was the one that Alistair and his mom lived at, so. Well, Granny had a nice cottage. I hated the silence, so I turned on the TV. Living on my own was awesome at first, but now I was getting kind of lonely. I set my bag down and turned to face the framed picture of Grandma. I'm home, Grandma! Once again, no luck finding Blondie today. Maybe I didn't think this through, you know? I mean, my folks really tried to talk me out of going to college here. Oh, but I'm having a lot of fun, and I made a bunch of new friends, so I don't regret it at all. Sure, maybe it won't be that easy to find him, but I've got a few years until I graduate. I just gotta be patient. I hope you're up there rooting for me. More than a month had passed since I first arrived here. I found myself some friends and now I was all settled in. But I still hadn't accomplished my goal in coming here. Ha. Huh. Whoa, you seem kind of down. What's up? I was just thinking. Life's really not that simple, huh? That's like the total opposite of what you said the other day. Well, I mean... Before I could get into a rant, however, my other friend suddenly looked up from his cell phone. Guys! I just found out the transfer student is mixed race and super cute! For reals? I gotta see this! Let's go! All the boys run. <laughs> I love it. 
Out in the hall, we found a group of equally nosy students peeking in at the transfer student's class. Damn, what a crowd! Is it that chick with bushy hair? I can't get a good look at her! Porcelain skin and big doe eyes! I'm gonna go talk to her! What? You're not even in that class! So? It's not weird if we're the same age. You got balls of steel, man. Alright, go for it, Okami! I'll be watching when she sends you packing. At least say, I'll be here for you, dude. But right as I took a step. Oh, crap! The one downside to being in a different class! All of you go back to your desks! But teach! Why you gotta show up early today of all days? I missed my chance! Don't be stupid. It's time for class. Okay... Four hours later... I thought for sure I'd get to see her at lunchtime, but she's gone?! She went to go eat lunch with the girls. Figures... Ugh. Why is it always so impossible for me to find who I'm looking for? Eh, you'll see her sooner or later. The school's not that big. Yeah. Let's just eat already! I'm starving! Okay, you go back to the classroom and start eating. I gotta go buy a sandwich. Again? Well, that's my only option. Have fun! With their blessing, I dashed off to the student store on the first floor. Thank goodness for student stores. Ugh, oh, I'm so hungry. Now that I think about it, I totally skipped breakfast. Just then. Phew! Whoa! In passing, I made eye contact with a girl I didn't know. Huh? Pale porcelain skin. Thick brown hair. Her big blue eyes reminded me of a bisque doll. She's gorgeous. I stopped dead in my tracks to stare at her. Likewise, she stopped and looked at me. That must be why my mouth started running on autopilot. <laughs> No thoughts, just like, yo, you want to go out? Hi there! I've fallen for you at first sight! Would you please be my girlfriend? I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm in love with someone else. Oof. And then he cried for the rest of the day. Oh, life's just not that simple. That's what we've been telling you, man! Everybody's talking about how you instantly confessed and she instantly rejected you. Cool. <laughs> Poor guy, it gets worse. That's all you have to say? Bro, you're way too friggin' reckless. Anyone be creeped out if a total rando put the moves on him. It was love at first sight, okay? She was just so gorgeous up close. Look, I get that, but I'm just saying, don't be so hasty. You gotta make friends with him first, you know? Ha! Amateur! A knockout like that is gonna have all kinds of guys swarming her. My only shot was to make a move before they did. But she turned you down. She sure did. No hesitation. Said she's in love with someone else. Oh, does she have a boyfriend? Wouldn't be surprised. Probably some big, tall guy from another country. That's reality for you. Bleak and boring. That's why I stick to anime girls. <laughs> oh boy. Anime girls. They're cute, and they won't break your heart. What's not to like? But you can't touch them! They're not soft and warm like real girls. You act like you've touched one before. Obviously, I've touched a girl before. When? Square dancing? In middle school? 
Wolf, please. And so my friends teased me mercilessly. As they should. <laughs> you sound like so confident about it, and it turns out <laughs> you shouldn't be that confident. After school, like always, I used my phone GPS to keep searching. Give me a break. Ha <laughs> ha, virgin! Like the rest of you aren't virgins! I may be a virgin for now, but I'm gonna find a cute girl and do all kinds of hand-holding and hugging and kissing and lewd stuff too! That's why I need to land myself a hot girlfriend. Right as I turned onto the main street, I spotted a familiar figure. Oh! It's her! Hey! Are you on your way home? I am. And you are? Huh? It's me, remember? Didn't I give you my name? Nope. Oh, my bad. I'm Yuki Okami from Class A. Nice to meet ya! Okami as in wolf? That's so cool! I'm Yurika Arasa. Nice to meet you! So cute! Are you all by yourself? Which way do you live? Can I walk you home? What? No way. Wah! I don't want rumors to spread. Mm. I knew I wouldn't get a yes, but I sure wasn't expecting this harsh of a no. Does she hate my guts? <laughs> Come on, I'm just messing with you. You can walk with me partway. Yes! She doesn't hate me! <laughs> it's a good thing she's so naive. And you are too, to be fair. As we walked, we introduced ourselves. Oh, wow. So you're new to the area like I am? Yep, yep. So I don't actually know very much about this place at all. Gotcha. What brings you here? Did you move here with your parents? Nah, I came by myself. I'm on my own. Sorry, was that a personal question? Not at all. It's not a touchy subject or anything. See, I'm looking for somebody. Oh? When I was a kid, I stayed in the area for a few months. I'm looking for a friend I made back then. That's the whole reason you enrolled at our school? Yep, that's it. Wow. <laughs> That's what everybody says. I was kind of hoping I could search for him in my free time, but I haven't had much of that. I honestly thought I'd find him pretty quick, but it's been real tough, man. But hey, I only just got started. Right. Well, I hope you find him. Thanks! So, Wolf, how long are you planning to follow me? Uh-oh. A challenge! Well, I'm not backing down. Until you give me your number. I told you, I'm in love with someone else. So you did remember him. I know that, but we can still be friends, right? Can't we? Sure, she has a boyfriend, but it'd still be tons of fun to make friends with a cute girl. Besides, she might introduce me to her equally cute friends. Hmm. Good point. Woohoo! Now then, let's. Oh! Alistair! Who's Alistair? The name sounded vaguely familiar, and when I followed her gaze. Aha! Oh. Wait, what? Him! That's him! The guy I was looking for! I pointed at the blonde guy, desperate to convince her. Looking back now, I didn't really need to convince her at all, but I was too worked up to think straight. Huh? Wait! Why did you run from me? I'm not letting you get away this time, got it? It's me, dude! Wolf! We played together as kids, remember? When I approached, Blondie recoiled fearfully. Wolf? I'm sorry. I don't know you. 
You liar! Seriously? Rejected. Again! Man, if he's forgotten all about me, then I moved out here for nothing! Say, Wolf, why don't we continue this conversation at my place? At this, I was kind of confused. Sure, I could understand taking it to a coffee shop or something, but Ali Sue was just a bystander in this. Huh? Why there? Because Alistair is living with me right now. And there you have it! She was, in fact, no bystander at all! Dun dun dun! <laughs> she led me to a fancy schmancy brick building on the corner of a commercial block. I love his thoughts. <laughs> fancy schmancy! <laughs> That's great. So this is your house. <laughs> Smells kind of good in here. When I walked in, the first thing I noticed was a sweet, spicy smell. Somehow it felt like I was a little kid all over again. It does? Is this a cafe or something? It used to be. It was originally built back in the Taisho era. Whoa! Wild. Where's your family? My parents are away on business, and my brother lives in the area, but he has his own apartment. Anyway, you two have a seat. I'll make us some drinks. Any preferences? I'm cool with anything you got. Alistair? I... I'd like tea, please. You got it. Coming right up. While Ali Sue was prepping the drinks, I just kind of sat there and looked around. I was digging the classy antique furnishings, but if I'm being honest, it struck me as a weird house. Hmm. Uh. Every time I made eye contact with Blondie, or should I say Alistair, he quickly looked away. Come on, man, you don't gotta freeze me out. Blah! Gah! Oh, sorry. I can't handle silence. Like, at all. <laughs> so we've got Alistair and Arisa. Both kind of sound like Alice, huh? Yes, sir. That's correct. Yes, sir. Please. <laughs> Calling Wolf a sir just doesn't feel right. Sir? I'm not a teacher, you know. Huh? Weird. Felt like we were meeting for the first time all over again. Thanks for waiting. As requested, here's your Earl Grey tea. And Wolf, I made you some chamomile. Th thank you very much. Ooh, smells great. Doesn't it? I had a feeling you'd enjoy something fragrant. Yeah, I love it. And I love you too. Just kidding. Glad to hear it. So, now that we're all settled, let's reintroduce ourselves. I'm Yurika Arisa, 18 years old. I lived in a different country for many years and only recently moved back here. Nice to meet you. I'm Yuki Okami, and I'm 17. Likewise, I recently moved back to the area. Call me Wolf. Incidentally, Wolf and I go to the same university, but we're taking different classes. Yep. And so the lively conversation turned to Blondie. I'm Alistair. 18 years old. And right now you're living here with my family. Yes. No relatives? Nope. My parents are Alistair's guardians. Guardians? I didn't really get how it worked, but I got the sense that Blondie legit didn't have any family of his own. Real talk? I wasn't sure if it was my business to comment on it. I looked over at him and found him staring awkwardly at the floor. He was never an outgoing guy, but now he seemed even more gloomy. Or more insecure, maybe. You say you've met Alistair before, right, Wolf? 
Right, right. Like I said, I lived here a long time ago. See, when I was little, I used to be real sickly, so my folks had me recuperate for a while. And that's when I met Blondie, a.k.a. Alistair. Brightly, I looked to him for confirmation, but what I got was more silence. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Uh... Well, it was a long time ago, so I guess I can't blame ya. No, it's not that. Huh? I have Dissociative Identity Disorder. Dissocio... What? Dissociative Identity Disorder. Also known as Multiple Personality Disorder. Okay. What he said to me was so unbelievable, I could barely give a coherent response. Ah, uh, so, what does that mean? I couldn't figure it out for myself, so I turned to Ali Sue for help. In other words, the person you met back then might have been one of Alistair's other personalities. Really? I don't know. Huh. Wow. Multiple personalities. Real talk, I didn't know how to begin to process this whole multiple personalities thing. Ask questions about it? Or just shrug it off with, wow, that's amazing. No, stop! A true wolf never runs away. How could I doubt the word of a friend? If he says he's got MPD, then he's got MPD! Uh, so, who the heck was I hanging with back in the day? Well, we don't know what happened back then, so we have no way of knowing for sure that it was Alistair at all. But supposing that it was him, then there are five possible candidates. Cinderella, Snow White, Red Riding Hood. Red Riding Hood! It's gotta be him! You think so? Trust me! He always wore this red cloak that my grandma made for him! That's why she used to call him Little Red Riding Hood. Interesting. Well then, it sounds like we can safely say you were friends with Red Riding Hood. Apparently so. The room went quiet. Well, gosh, uh... What a crazy coincidence! I can't believe the guy I just met today turned out to be Alistair's old friend from years ago. Thanks for the assist, Ali Sue! Yeah, and I never thought you'd be sharing a roof with the exact guy I've been looking for. Wasn't expecting him to have multiple personality disorder either. Come on, you seriously don't remember me. I'm sorry. Wow. Okay, uh, can you, like... Switch places with Red real quick? Uh... That's a no, huh? Wolf, DID is a disorder where detached emotions and memories take on a personality of their own. Because they all have to share the same body, they don't all have the same memories. The personalities themselves can speak to each other, but... But Alistair can't since he's the main guy. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Okay, I think I got it. So basically, I'm meeting this version of him for the first time? Yeah. Then let's start over. I'm Wolf. I only just moved back to the area and I'm looking to make friends. Nice to meet ya. When I offered him my hand, his gaze wandered anxiously. Nice to meet you, Wolf. I hope you're cool with nicknames, cause I'm gonna call you Blondie. Blondie? Yep. Let's have a lot of fun together, eh, Blondie? I gave up on the handshake and settled for a thumbs up. Not everyone was as outgoing as me. At the very least, Alistair sure wasn't. And that was A-OK. -okay. <laughs> huh? 
Huh? What's with the funny look? So you believe that I have multiple personalities? Of course. Why? What do you mean, why? Do you go around doubting your friends? I mean, yeah. It sounds like something out of a manga. But neither of you guys seem like the type to lie for attention. Besides, I already met one of them myself, right? And if I remember right, Red was pretty different from you. I think. It was my honest outlook. I was pretty sure they were telling the truth. <laughs> Anyways, don't sweat the small stuff. I'm friends with Red, so that makes you my friend too. Right. It's nice to meet you, Wolf. My reassurance must have paid off because he smiled stiffly. Well, what do you know? He's not all doom and gloom after all. I look forward to a beautiful friendship, Wolf. Yeah, totally! Me too! So beautiful! Well, it's getting late. Do you have a curfew or anything, Wolf? Nope. I live on my own anyways. In that case, want to stay for dinner? Can I? Of course. You don't mind, right, Alistair? Uh, right. Yes! I hit the jackpot! Here you go. Whoa! One look at the food on the table and I couldn't help but gush. And you made all this yourself? Yep. I love me a girl who can cook. And you're so good at plating it, too. <laughs> Believe it or not, it's my special talent. All right, boys, dig in. Don't mind if I do. Hop. Mmm, that's a party in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, that good, eh? Tell me, Blondie, do you get to eat this great food every day? Huh? Uh... Yeah. Lucky? I envy you so bad right now! In contrast, Alistair didn't look very happy at all for some reason. After I cleaned my plate, I started packing up to head home. Thanks for the grub! It was amazing! I'd love to eat more sometime! You said you live by yourself, right? Do you cook? <laughs> well, I can make a couple things. Cool, cool. Anyway, see you tomorrow! See you! Take care on your way home. Well, do! And so I headed down the dark street. Cool. I'm stuffed. Best day ever! I finally found Blondie, and I got Ali Sue's digits. In a single day, I basically achieved all the goals I set for myself in college. <laughs> nice, nice. Still, multiple personality disorder? The phrase brought me back to cold, hard reality. Huh. I sure wasn't expecting that. I never got to say any of the things I always wanted to tell him. Real talk, I could tell it wasn't the right time or place. I didn't understand what kind of disease MPD was, or if it was even a disease at all. But at the very least, I could tell he had a lot on his plate. In that sense, I hadn't really found who I was looking for at all. Wolf! I turned at the sound of my name and saw Ali Stu standing there. Huh? What's up, homegirl? I just wanted to thank you for all your help today. She was ever so slightly out of breath. Did she run all this way just to catch me? I was wrong about you. You're actually a great guy. I know, right? I'm the bee's knees. Did I make you swoon? And here I thought you were just a vapid, frivolous, thoughtless buffoon. 
Dude, don't roast me. See, the thing is... My brother told me Alistair could really use some friends his age, and I agree with him. So I appreciate you being around, Wolf. I think you two could be good for each other. Oh, I get it now. She didn't run after me because she liked me. She did it while thinking of Alistair. What about you, Ali Sue? I... I think Alistair is avoiding me. And besides... He's the someone else you're in love with. Is it that obvious? Majorly. Do you think he knows? Not yet, but it's only a matter of time. Uh-oh. I admit, I do have feelings for him, but lately I'm not sure what to think anymore. Like you, I first met him when I was a kid, but he doesn't remember that. Was it one of his other personalities? I don't know. We were apart for so long, I figure maybe his personality changed over time. Or maybe the prince from my childhood was actually someone else. Prince? Really? Major yikes, dude! <laughs> it's a yikes from me, dog. And you still hung out with this girl? Sheesh. I mean it! Alice was a dashing prince. He helped me. So now I'm going to help him. Right. I'll do some research and find out more about DID. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with and I'll lend a hand. Thanks. Oh, I know. Say, would you be willing to meet with my older brother? Y your brother? You're introducing me to your family after one day? He's a psychiatrist. Oh, I get it. Wow, her brother's a doctor! Is that why Alistair's staying with her family? I want you to tell him everything you know about Red Riding Hood. Sure thing! I'm down! Thanks! Red's been a total mystery to us so far. We could really use your insight. What do you mean? Well, he refuses to show himself around my brother. I guess he doesn't like him? Gotcha. And he seems to be avoiding me as much as possible, too. But with you around, maybe he'll show himself. You guys were friends, right? Yeah, true. Would you feel comfortable with me listening to your story? Sure, no problem. Yay! Thank you! Beaming, she gave me a big hug. Oh boy. There goes the blush. Ah! Uh, we're hugging now? You really are such a good person, Wolf. Uh, your face! It's a little too close, dude! Anyway, sorry to flag you down. I gotta get back home, so... I'll see you at school. Mata ashita! With a wink, she blew me a kiss and walked off. Oh, girl knows what she's doing. S sayonara. <laughs> Boy was hit so hard, he started speaking another language. <laughs> Woo! Gah! So cute! And she smells so good! Oh no! <laughs> I was wondering, I'm like... How squished is this hug? Oh, boy. Uh, yep. Well, we knew what we were getting into. Let's just, let's just keep on, keep on, keep on. That and her boobies are huge! 